Welcome to 20th Century Geek. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 20th Century Geek. I'm your regular host, Scott Weatherly. Now, today, this is a bonus episode, so it's not going to be just me chatting on or doing anything particular. This is me on another podcast. I recently joined my regular comic book guys, Matt and J-Man, on their podcast, Toon Jam, in which they talk about 90s cartoons, and they pulled out something special for me to discuss. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode, and hopefully, it'll make you want to go check out Toon Jam. Toon Jam! Jam! Hello and welcome to Toon Jam Podcast with Cahoots, or in Cahoots with Scott Weatherly from 20th Century Geek. (laughs) I'm Matt. I'm J-Man. And uh, yeah, this is a very special episode because it's a uh, unique crossover. I see it. We're like the Avengers. We're like yeah. the Avengers. Or Freddy vs. Jason. We have joined forces. <laughs> One of the two of, of the above. So, um, yeah, we've got we've got Scott here today uh, to, to talk about a very interesting That's subject. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you contacted me and said, we have a cartoon to discuss, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which we know you have a great affinity for. Of course. And, uh, yeah, you really who doesn't? Are. Yeah, who doesn't? Who, who, hasn't, yeah. who hasn't seen... This classic piece uh, of uh, advertising. Yeah, so um, I went ahead and picked. Uh, I, I don't even know if I need to explain because everyone at home probably can guess. Yeah. But it's uh, the wacky adventures of Ronald McDonald. The first episode being Scared Silly, created in 1998 by the same guys that brought you uh, Rugrats and. Um, uh, what is it? Rocket Force. Ah, real ah, monsters. Real monsters. Yeah. Wild Thornberrys. Wild Thornberrys, yeah. yeah, yeah. The the, the, the whole Nickelodeon They have half. a very distinctive anim- animation style. Yeah, yeah like art which, style. With which it. Yeah. jumped off the screen yeah, yeah. immediately. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it starts live action mm. and then jumps straight into, um, into some animation. nice animated goodness. Um, it's, it's a bit weird. It's like a... Um, they release them as as like videos... To yeah, sell you, in store. You could buy them in store, yeah. or from what I read, you would get one if you bought sufficient yeah. amount of food. I think it was, <laughs> oh, that's really cool. A, right? Yeah, the deals I saw were you could get one with a small ice cream cone. Mm. What? Yeah. yeah, or a or a small diet coke. That's not a lot of food. No, that's, but <laughs> they were basically like, you want to take this advertisement material home? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, you want to pump your children full of Ronald McDonald? Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. But apparently yeah. they were so popular. Mm. That um, the animation company had to start doing it through their own site. Really? Yes. Yeah. They didn't stock enough. And yeah, stores, oh. uh, apparently restaurants have run out of copies yeah. of oh, this. Snap. Of, of these six episodes. Of the wacky adventures <laughs> yeah. of Ronald McDonald. Like you said, the fact is there were six of these running from 1998 yeah. to 2003. Yeah. So these must have been successful because they were like, we'll do another one and we'll do another one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're an interesting. Um, mix of animation and live action yeah, yeah so right so let's 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 start with the live action seeing as it starts with the yeah. live action you start off in uh ronald's wacky house yeah which yeah. is pretty wacky it's it's pretty cool yeah it's it like, is in mcdonald's world yeah that's what's yeah. called in mcdonald's, in McDonald's world. Yeah. world so he's got his own world yeah and he's like what is he he's like an inventor I have no idea what he, he says. He yeah. well, he just he invents things. He's a clown. Let's be honest. He's he's got, he's well, a, first off, first off, yeah. he is a clown. He is yeah. a clown. He's wearing full makeup. Yeah, in bed. yeah. I've always assumed as a character yeah. that he was a person that yeah. was a clown. I but know. this is like basically no no that's just his face. He's a living yeah, no, clown. Yeah, he yeah. wakes yeah. up like that in the morning. Yeah, and, that's yeah. Hor- horrifying. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of things in this that are horrifying. Oh yeah, well I was yeah. scared silly. And I think there's the it start it doesn't even start off with him, does it? It no. starts off with his absolutely terrifying <laughs> dog. Someday, yeah. someday the yeah. dog. Some reject from a fucking muppet. Yeah, that is. He does actually look like one of the characters yeah. from Ariel Monsters. Yeah, they? big time. Yeah. Like, mm. if, if they did a live action Ariel Monsters, he would be in it. Yeah, it I was... got the feeling though, looking at that, they did the 
animation designs first. Yeah. Yeah. And then they built. Oh yeah. The yeah. suit because yeah. it looks after. so it's spot on. Yeah. yeah. It looks like. It looks like the headmaster, doesn't it? In, yeah, it in does. Harry yeah, Potter's like, yeah. That, and it's weird because he's got like a his full on snout, yeah. and the mouth's underneath Maybe. it. Yeah. Like, in like it's like a proper <laughs> human mouth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's got, and it's really weird. He's voiced by um, Tom Kenny, isn't he? Am I right? Something. Like, yeah, I think. Is it Tom Kenny? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, but it's really like I, I just thought the the voice. It such a terrible choice of voice for yeah. that dog. You know, just well, like, the casting he's so is so ap- apathetic, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's just yeah. Like, brr. And he just constantly makes like bad gags yeah. from like an old sitcom. Yeah, he. Well, that, it's like, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. The, weird, the, the scripting <laughs> and the and the the, the, uh, the casting in this is bizarre. Yeah, because there are so many elements that someone's clearly watched a lot of seventies sitcoms. And he's like the grumpy neighbour. Yeah. But yeah. he's a, like he's the pet oh, dog. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's even the, there's a bit where he actually takes a mick at someone's haircut, which is rich. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coming yeah. from him. Yeah. yeah. And his bizarre head. So in general, yeah, he was. Well, I mean, even even more ridiculous is who is in the costume. Yeah. yeah. For it, which is Mini Me, <laughs> Vern <laughs> Troyer, Vern yeah. Troyer of Austin Powers fame. But I had to double check because I thought, man, he must be his, his career must be on the skids yeah. at this but point. Before, nope. no, yeah. no, ninety seven was the first Austin Powers. But he yeah. wasn't. Was he in the first? Or was he in the second? Is it only the, the second, second one? one. Yeah. yeah. So the second one's ninety nine. So it's the year after this. Yeah. yeah. So this so was his, this was his big break. Yeah. yeah. This was, uh, <laughs> just like, he started off in dog suit. Yeah. yeah. Came to the audition like you may remember me yeah. from being Here's a bizarre the wacky clown dog <laughs> at the start of the yeah. Of the what dog. do they call that when they've got like a is like a, a reel? Yeah. Here's yeah. my reel. And you're like, what is this? Even they're like, what is this McDonald's yeah. nonsense? <laughs> it's very. They probably Were you thought, an advert? No, it's, yeah. It's they thought it was some like artsy indie film. <laughs> they were just like, oh yeah, man, yeah, you went places yeah, yeah. in that one. Yeah, that was. Really, I mean, really to be cool. fair. He plays the dog very well. Yeah. Yeah. From transition from to live fair, action yeah. to cartoon, yeah. Yeah. you know you can't you can't uh, give him grief for that. For the for the live action though, the thing that sprang to mind, I had to check the dates for these as well. Is the and I hate I hate the word wacky because one of those days when someone describes yeah. themselves as wacky, <laughs> you know that they've either got some sort of like mental you know, illness or yeah. like, like <laughs> you know you're just like, no you know you I'm hate the them. wacky one. You know yeah. you hate them instantly. Yeah. Oh, right. you're that person. So you're wacky. Okay. Never going to talk to you again. Yeah. yeah. Bye you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, orange ties. Good for you. Yeah. But then Ronald McDonald. Well, I still like him. Really? As much He's as I did. Yeah. As much as I did before. But the whole world it's, it is very very wacky and yeah. it's all colourful he wakes yeah. up and his bed is a bun yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. and there's like you know subtle advertising throughout yeah. but it felt like um, Pee Wee's Playhouse yeah big time or, yeah. Um, the Michael Myers it had like a I don't know there's like, a, like a, an acid trip to the Michael Myers um, Cat and Hat Right, yeah, yeah. You know, that's like Dr. Like, Seuss. Dr. Yeah. Seuss, sort of that's what's yeah. on there. It yeah, felt very yeah. like Grinch, Dr. Seuss. It was like, yeah. there's all funny angles and yeah. colours. Yeah, and stuff. I yeah. thought you were going to say Halloween. I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It felt like, yeah. I thought he was going to crack yeah. out a butcher's <laughs> knife and start hacking. It's just... um, <laughs> no, but it felt like very sort of like surreal yeah uh, and uh it did like the the set was like so vibrant that yeah. it's like you could tell it was artificial yeah like, those but, colors are just not natural so no, like, they don't yeah. exist anyway. <laughs> yeah. but i really like that i thought yeah. the element was yeah, really it was cool good. like and as well like so um, ronald mcdonald is played by they have like there's always a ronald mcdonald isn't there yeah. mm. and it's like the guy that's his job mm. always yeah. So and this is played by that yeah. the guy. At so the, the, time. the guy that was Ronald at that time. Yeah. So, so like, he was doing the adverts in the credits. As well. He's listed as himself. So, yeah. yeah Ronald McDonald as himself. Yeah. And How to be crap fair, is that as the actor yeah. that you are? Yeah. <laughs> what he was been? so immersed <laughs> in. Yeah. You just become Ronald. Yeah. yeah. He but, went method. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I thought he was quite good actually. Uh, yeah. I was yeah, quite yeah, surprised. Yeah. Like he was quite funny. Even he was a bit sarcastic as well. Like with the dog. Yeah. Yeah. I think the dog's like moaning about how they're gonna get there. And it, like, and he's just like, yeah, I thought we'd just take the car. Yeah, yeah. Chill out, <laughs> chill out, dog. So it's, it's not an issue. Yeah. yeah. But what's and the dog's watching some spooky dinosaur film. Yeah. Which is actually a compilation of like three different films. Yeah. So they just take Godzilla noise. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then if you actually listen to what the guy's saying they're looking at a dinosaur and he's like oh I knew I never should have sat on that egg <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like it turns out like he incubated the yeah. egg <laughs> just really yeah. that was just the funniest bit in the whole show yeah. I thought so it was weird. really crap me up that did but yeah it's weird when they're in the house as well everything's dead fast like it's yeah, been yeah. times two to speed, speed yeah. Yeah, speeds, and it's yeah. a bit weird because sometimes he'll be talking hmm. and he's still moving around too fast yeah. And yeah. it's a bit strange and that's what I mean by the Dr. Seussian or something yeah. it was, everything's hyper like yeah. it's, it's turned up to 11 kind of thing which I find uh, I mean I don't I thought it was quite interesting it's weird I don't, do you reckon they just had that to have the actual Ronald McDonald in it probably yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that, I reckon it's got that's to be a, because that's, cause having the cartoon in itself is probably not enough like, you know, yeah. they want yeah. that they want you to because they did yeah. they did used to do it every night I mean the Mario cartoon mm. that had a live action yeah, yeah. it was Dr. Lou Albano yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was like, yo it's yeah. me Mario <laughs> it was like the real life Wario yeah. as Mario yeah basically yeah but that's the it's the only other cartoon I can think of where they had a live action interplay yeah, but I suppose um, it's with these characters. You that get a bit like SpongeBob. Exist, SpongeBob yeah. SquarePants has the pirate thing. Yeah, but that's sort but that's of still a... not, that's not a character, is yeah. it? No, I suppose when they're like cartoons based off things that already exist. Well, yeah. let's, we're also because before we get into the cartoon, there's 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 an element here. There's the, the elephant in the room we have not yet shouted uh, out. Right, you've just said about things about the based on you know, existing properties. Yeah, and yeah. This is based on a marketing device. Oh yeah, big yeah. time. Oh, right? yeah. This is not. Like you say, like, this isn't based on anything that exists as a no. game or a comic. Mm. Or like, this is literally the the adventures. This is based the living yeah. adventures of of McDonald's of a mascot. Of a mascot, yeah. yeah. For yeah, for like food. Of, of for the largest for fast living, food chain. Yeah, yeah, for sort of like bad health. Yeah, it's, it's genius. Yeah, it's like, it is. Guys, were like this is just up there like way beyond everybody else's marketing level it's like before it's so it's thinking. so of the time though isn't it like 80s yeah. 90s yeah, yeah, yeah. commercialism yeah. like this was just the peak of it this is the, yeah this feels like this is almost like the thing that broke the camel's back yeah um because watching this the question that came on to me because like there was characters in this and we'll get the cards when we get into the cartoon that I, I hadn't thought about for years yeah. yeah and granted you know I'm in the the higher end of my 30s but I should still be able to know the Hamburglar yeah. Um, yeah. Grimace, Grimace. And so but I was thinking yeah I haven't seen those I had to check McDonald's yeah. don't use them anymore yeah. no what any of them no they can't not even Hamburglar not really they, they, they use them in a limited capacity yeah. because of advertisers now yeah. they can't advertise yeah. to children yeah. so this is almost like they must have pushed this and someone yeah. at some market or some advertising like, this is or, authority has yeah. gone yeah. wow this is almost as bad as like the cigarette advert yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, you know the it's almost was... I think it's it's almost a shame it's for McDonald's yeah yeah. because they created quite a cool little, little yeah, like, little it's such a bizarre like array of characters mm. there's like a bird yeah. A big purple yeah. thing, yeah. Hamburg, a hamburger, yeah. the clown. Yeah. And it's yeah. just That's weird. None of it fits it's together. It's not half fast, is it? Like you know, oh, no, if, no, if no, this no, was no, somebody no. else's attempt at doing this, this would be like the lowest budget, like yeah. piece of turd that like has yeah. absolutely no depth <laughs> yeah. to it at all. Just but this is like, like if this was on Cartoon Network, like you know, when well, you I were mean, sitting and watching, you wouldn't have thought twice about it. Compare this, like said before. Yeah. Compare this to Mario. Yeah. And just that opening bit. Yeah. This is like if you were to do it right. Yeah. yeah compared yeah. to if you were to do it horrifically yeah. wrong. Just yeah. two guys yeah. in dodgy dungarees. Do we, do, like, yeah. Does anyone know hey, a man. chubby guy with a moustache? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The homeless guy out back. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel him in. Do <laughs> the Mario. Swing your arms. Yeah. Uh, yeah and it is. It, yeah. It, it's weird. It's upsetting that it's for McDonald's. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, I still want these. I, these characters I feel should still exist yeah I agree yeah. Yeah. but like I say they, they pump them into it because that set yeah the yeah. opening set yeah. is really like yeah, like, wow, yeah. someone designed this and built yeah. it and I was really impressed with it yeah. I was like, but they did go they had a game as well didn't they a McDonald's game yeah yeah like we were talking about the other day yeah, a video where, game. sorry a video game a video yeah. game yeah and you for played what as, console <laughs> it was like uh, it Mega Drive, Mega Drive or, yeah. really or something yeah, yeah. And you were two. There was like two little kids. It's no wonder obesity runs rampant. It's it's really, really, yeah, it's, it? it's crazy. But, were, but yeah, it was just marketing. it was a good game as well. I really yeah, it was. I used to love it. Yeah. So there's basically there's an element of McDonald's. This mar- their marketing machine is like tr- is is actually being hampered. Yeah. 
by working for a fast food. Well, basically, restaurant. like now, when you think about it, when's the last time you saw um, McDonald's advert or anything about Happy Meals or kids? Well, you yeah. see them, but they they can't. They're very limited. They I, I've not seen one on TV though. For you. No, but they can't. Actually... You, the only time I see kids even eating in a McDonald's advert is when they're eating carrot sticks. Yeah, yeah well, there's actually the only, the only time recently that I've seen a, a Happy Meal advert mm. was when I took, I took Ellie, my daughter, to go see um, the My Little Pony movie, and they had the advert in there. But in the advert, like you say, the box is plain red. Yeah, yeah, with no ad, no no adornments, no advertisement, on, and the kid was eating carrot sticks and grapes. But yeah. they were like, and there was other food available too. Yeah, yeah. But there was no like direct reference to um, anything that would be considered fast food. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they do mention chicken nuggets. Yeah. And but only to say that there were a hundred percent chicken yeah. and all that other stuff, which makes me wonder like, what the hell were they before? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Forty <laughs> percent chicken. I know yeah, that's yeah. close enough. Yeah. I used to. That's what all I ate as a kid. Yeah. The nuggets, like. But the fact of the matter is, is chicken that, foam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, this is what I'm saying, though. I think yeah. advertising authorities have stopped all this. They've mm, killed yeah. all these characters. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. The, the thing is, you've got to remember that Super Size Me did a huge amount of damage Big time, to, yeah. to to McDonald's, oh. like, and yeah, 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 their yeah. whole marketing campaign, and like everything, like the fact that they had to change the menu because of a film. Like it's yeah. crazy, mm. really. Like, so I don't know how much of this comes back to Morgan Spurlock. Well, because like, this, this these stopped in 2003. So I was, I was thinking the same. I was like, yeah. what happened in 2003, 2004 yeah. that stopped these? Yeah, yeah. Because they were, they did seem to be making money. Yeah. So I'm curious, as like, was there something, like, was it Super Size yeah. Me or was there something else? Like, was there legislation put in place that was like, mm. enough. Yeah, yeah. No more. You can't keep doing this. Um, it's, yeah. It's strange. But I mean, so as a father, mm. would you show your daughter this cartoon? Do you know what? It was weird because I, I did think that, and I think yeah. I think I would, right? Yeah. Because the fact of the matter is, th- th- this is it's actually not a bad cartoon. No, the cartoon no. itself is it's yeah. no dissimilar to like Scooby Doo or, yeah. or Rugrats or anything like that. It's what's weird as well is actually, I know they've got like there's obviously loads of McDonald's themed stuff in mm. it, but then they never eat. No, they no. don't. No, they never well, eat anything. Exactly. There's mm. even a song when they go back camping when they yeah. arrive, and we'll get onto the story. Yeah. Yeah. They talk about camping, and she, one of them does say, "And you can have snacks." Yeah. yeah. And again, she pulls out an apple. Yeah. And I was after expecting them to be pulling out like a burger yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and fries. And if they did, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. That, yeah. then I'd be, be like, expecting it. That's yeah. it. You'd be like, "Well, yeah, it's McDonald's." So, yeah. yeah. But if they did, if they were to be like, you yeah. know, burger and fries and, yeah. and all yeah. other stuff, then I'd be a bit like, "Oh, maybe yeah. not." But I don't think times have changed I don't think Ellie's five now and I don't think mm. she would be able to make the connection between the characters she and see in there and yeah. the McDonald's that exists in 2018 yeah. I think it's two it's two different things now yeah but it's weird yeah. because as a 29 year old mm. it made me want to buy a Happy Meal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well I like an old one yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like why don't they do Ronald McDonald toys for a Happy Meal anymore because yeah. I want to go and grab a, yeah. Uh, yeah. but that's the world we live in <laughs> now that even something. recently there was a headline saying that Tony the Tiger's under threat really yeah. saying that, that's how far it's going so mm. I think these were the first yeah. casualties of an ongoing war yeah. Yeah. to make all food boring yeah. <laughs> basically basically yeah, yeah. so um, let's uh, shall we jump into the actual let's, cartoon yeah, let's talk about the actual, let's talk about the actual story um, or what? What is the the events yeah. that transpired? It's, it's weird. It's like straight away, first sort of thoughts mm. on the episode as a whole is it, it doesn't feel like a first episode. No, no, they just drop you into this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which I know they used to do that a lot, but this really feels like one of the later episodes mm. that that they just chuck in because mm-hmm. they were like, oh, well, maybe a haunted house. Yeah. It's not yeah. the first thing you think. This of, wasn't the best. Yeah, actually, this feels more like a Halloween special yeah. rather than a than an. But then I suppose episode. it depends. I, I don't know if it was released in October or something, and they were like, "Yeah, let's do it." Mm. Possibly. They yeah. Didn't, I don't know. Find that, but yeah, that that was that was well, weird. But mm. I suppose you do sort of get a gist of all the characters, and mm. they all get so, a moment to shine, as it were. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of them. Mm. Like, they really, keep yeah. popping up. I think the one that <laughs> the one that didn't didn't twig for ages was you know the little birds yeah mm, and then nuggets. sort of yeah when you know when you, when you see their nuggets and you, then I laughed and then I was like actually 
that's really horrible. This is the thing that I didn't <laughs> no. get. Was like, so, like they're just they're already ready <laughs> to really eat. Cool. They're yeah. already cool. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> like that's that's why they're a hundred percent chickens because yeah. they're made from Literally. nugget birds. Yeah. 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 They just take beaks. the beaks off, take so the beaks off, take on. the eyes out. Ronald, Ronald just leans <laughs> in without in here some tomato sauce. Yeah. You know when you're just like you're like there's actually what if I had this idea like halfway through like imagine if he went in the haunted house. Yeah. Mm. And actually, the reason it was so scary is because it was like behind the scenes in McDonald's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like well, it was they, just, go, they go in and it's live action and again. It's just people, it's just in, with people cooking like, up everything. Yeah. Like those birds, they're like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been like, if they'd have yeah. opened the door and there was a that guy there with a frying <laughs> And just like Ronald's face all over it, like, yeah, these are my yeah. mates, and I'm serving them to people to Good eat. Man, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's me, Ronnie. Then it would have been scary. I'm yeah, your friend. <laughs> That's what I thought was weird. Was like, like not only did they not eat McDonald's during the whole time, but they, their friends were the food at McDonald's. Like they yeah. completely detached you from the fact that <laughs> the thing you're eating is chicken or yeah. the thing you're eating yeah. is a beef burger. Yeah. But like now, all your friends are made out of those things. So you've got like. The little chicken nugget guys. There's like the fry kids or whatever. Yeah, they're called cool, the fry kids. The little the fuzzy things. Kids. Yeah, they were just like bunches of fries. Is that what they are? Yeah, I was yeah, trying to figure it out. Because yeah. they're like colours, aren't they? Yeah. Because I remember the pictures of them in McDonald's. Yeah, as a kid. and I was like, what were they? Because yeah. you used to get them little poof ball things. Yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah. You were like, oh, they're just them. But they're, they're fries. They're yeah. like bundles of fries. That makes a lot and of sense. And then I'm like, what's Grimace? Is he like a. I used to think he's an he was, <laughs> I, I used to think he was a giant purple nugget. Yeah, he does look like a giant. I, purple but I don't yeah. know what. I think he's just supposed to be like a comedy character. Yeah. Isn't he? He's like the Mr. Blobby of the of the McDonald's. I think there's another nineties reference. For see, yeah, see, <laughs> seeing this mm. makes you realise how little of it we actually got yeah. in the UK. Oh God, yeah. yeah so yeah, we, we were, got the picture. I remember yeah. seeing them all, but yeah. There's, well, it's clear that I think the original when you see this. And I did like you know you do the research and you look mm. at these characters because the character designs are there and they yeah. translate really well mm. to animation. But the, and these these ones the, are even rehashed character designs. Yeah, they're yeah. Sort of which means they there was things before. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. There's, they, they, there's a 1990 cartoon as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, which is like a Treasure yeah. Island. Yeah, kind of it's very hard to. I don't know. I find the it. snippets. Not, of, there's, only, there's only snippets of that on yeah. YouTube. I couldn't find the whole thing. Mm. Um, but the thing I can I kept coming back to looking at them was. These could be Muppets. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Quite easily you could make well, one these. One of them into, is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The but dog, quite easily right. you could make these into, yeah. like a, it could be a live action, like yeah. you'd have a live yeah. action Ronald McDonald and the rest could be Muppets and yeah. then you have some little girl who's yeah. like your, your human yeah. sidekick Cat. trapped yeah. in the McDonald's world. You could quite easily do yeah. it with all of those characters. Yeah. I think if there's ever a time when the food becomes so... Then when they're like, you're not allowed fast food anymore because mm. it's so bad for you. Mm. Yeah. If McDonald's go down, they should just be like, well, let's just make cartoons. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be- <laughs> <laughs> so we'll use these yeah. characters because no, one, no one can get the food anymore. We're anyway. gonna become a production house. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, that would <laughs> be. I'd I'd uh, I'd buy into it. Yeah, that is it is it is very weird that they've decided to to step you so far away from yeah. the reality of what McDonald's is mm. to like now you know. <laughs> <laughs> you've got all these characters made from the food you're about to eat yeah. like how many kids were because you got them at McDonald's these DVDs how many kids were eating these things nuggets. while they were watching them be yeah. anthropomorphic versions of themselves on playing TV, with the like, nuggets hey yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. my face talking to each other yeah <laughs> <laughs> and there's that one that's got like a really deep voice as well yeah like, yo man yeah. yo man get up me <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. Like the voices. Who, was the, who was the hamburglar because I recognised his voice, but I didn't recognise oh, the answer. Oh, he's cow and chicken. Yeah. Is that where it's from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, that was it. He's Ickis as well from... <laughs> is he Ickis? Yeah, 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 of course he is. And, yeah, yeah. and he's the bread guy. And he, he sort yeah. of like... Yeah, yeah. He just he loads, loads. Yeah. yeah. It was just, yeah. I was listening to him, Charles I Adler. know that voice, but I didn't know yeah. the name. I was like, I know. Yeah. I thought you guys might know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's the plot? Yeah. Tell me the plot. The plot <laughs> is, we're going camping. Yeah, yeah like that is essentially it. They're going camping, and then they see a spooky house. But this spooky house is essentially... It's like an adventure, you know, an, um, an escape room. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, someone's, scenario, yeah, yeah, some, spoiler alert, <laughs> some kid <laughs> is controlling it all yeah. and trying to, it's like a game. Mm. Yeah. And like, one so of, basically, it's Saw. Yeah. 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 It's like a kid's <laughs> Saw. <laughs> to be fair, it's, you know, when you're like, with, with adventure rooms, well, how have they never done a haunted house adventure room? 
It's a really good idea. Yeah. It should do. It when be I was watching it, I was like, this is a good idea. Yeah, I'd you could do this. it quite easily. Yeah. But um, what's weird is everyone seems to be in on it except for Ronald. Yeah. That I was yeah I I, I was really I, confused. I have to admit, so Ronald doesn't know he's, he thinks no. it's just a haunted house. Yeah. Everyone's like betrayed him and tricked him into yeah. going right. there. I, yeah, I was really confused by one. I watched this a bit last night. It was quite late. I was yeah. tired, <laughs> but I thought like, have I fallen asleep? Like, have, yeah. I, have I had like a power nap and yeah. missed something? Because there was there was the, the clues to the yeah. strange sort of drop at the end. Yeah, were that she she had a walkie talkie. I saw yeah. that but one of them. Yeah, she was like... She had one walkie-talkie. Yeah. They, they, they even the, make the, a point, don't yeah, they? Yeah, the little chicken thing was like, that's weird. Yeah. And yeah. she was like, yeah, okay. Um, and then there was cameras in the woods. Yeah. yeah. Because the bird, birdie notices yeah. that. Yeah. Birdie noticed a lot of it and just yeah. didn't put it together. No, yeah. or, or doesn't actually say to anybody else, yeah. I think there's something funny going <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and then for, then a few of them knew it. Was it like the nuggets? The, yeah, the nuggets it? and the... The fry Purple kids, egg girl and the fry yeah, kids, because they went quite early, didn't they? Yeah, and then so, but they're all in the in the sort of back Wizard yeah, of so Oz they, room. They're sort of going around, scenes, cause, like, yeah. And the whole sort of point is as well that Grimace and the dog mm. are afraid of like everything. Yeah. So they're they're telling spooky camp stories. Yeah. Hamburger Hamburger is just a bit of a jerk. Mm. Anyway, oh, he's a real yeah. yeah. There's loads of times where I just love like. <laughs> Ronald to walk in and like yeah. whenever he's like doing <clears> something <throat> nobody yeah. he just actually batters him yeah <laughs> like he's full on like no, but, beats the crap see, out of him no no I'd, it, it, pull it back it'd be funny if he just went in and was like slaps him yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. no <laughs> hamburger let's stop it just I just liked him to just, just like full on yeah. <laughs> just yeah. chin him. him just chin him <laughs> and knock him out and then he goes, goes up and then or if he went, yeah, pulls out the Joker, pulls out a crowbar. Is like, yeah. am I going to have to I think teach you again? I think, I think the only reason these thoughts come to your head is because he's a clown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where you're like, he's terrifying. And, and everyone looks at him as like dad. They're yeah. like, oh, Ronald, he's scaring me. And he's like, oh, all right then, bang, yeah. do it again. And the hamburger's yeah. like, sorry. Or if like the next Damn. scene, yeah. the next scene they are eating chicken nuggets, and you just see a bit of like black and white <laughs> fabric like come out of somebody's mouth. Like, oh. What's in the What's yeah. in the burger, Ronald? Nothing. Yeah, it's secret recipe. <laughs> <laughs> secret ingredient. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they do this sort of uh, spooky haunted, haunted house. Yeah. For some reason, only a couple, a couple yeah. of them know about it, yeah. and they just want to complete it. There's no reason for them to not tell him. That's the only yeah. weird. That's what, all right, that's what I was saying. That's what I thought I'd missed. I, yeah, like, this, I didn't get why they hadn't told Ronald. Yeah, because being the dad, surely they'd be, he'd be like. Yeah, we can do it. In fact, he would have yeah. probably helped. Yeah, yeah, if they were like, we can't finish it, and he'd be like, let's go, gang. Yeah. Because yeah. that's kind of guy Ronald is. Yeah. But I don't... I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad they sort of, like, they fluffed in it, because I was really like, yeah. I don't... I, th- I think I've missed something. Yeah. yeah. No, I was really it's... confused at the video. Like, what? <coughs> like, everyone yeah. was... I was yeah. is it, it was just the fact that, yeah, they all betrayed him. It just yeah. felt like... Wrong. No wonder he feeds them to people. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> like, it. Grinds them yeah, up. Yeah, like, he just. Uh, this is what drove him to it. Yeah. yeah, these are like the before restaurant years. That's what yeah. he's yeah. So like every every episode is yeah. him getting closer to starting his own restaurant. Yeah. Ronald <laughs> McDonald <laughs> behind the blow. <laughs> like, this is like the the documentary it's like, series. It's like. actually a really sad series of a, of a of a really nice guy being manipulated by his friends to the point where yeah. he becomes. A killer, yeah, yeah, and mass producer of his friends. Yeah. Although, yeah, that's what it is. This is this is basically the Breaking Bad of yeah, like, yeah, like, of yeah, fast food yeah. restaurants. So by the sixth episode, like, in this one, he's cheery and he's yeah. his friends out camping. They're eating yeah. apples. Yeah, but this is the first episode, as you say. Yeah, yeah. We've not seen the rest. By episode no, six, yeah. he's selling off franchises. Yeah. he's forcing like burgers down yeah, kids' throats. He's the man who knocks. Yes. That's it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the yeah. Bo- I'm the man who fries. <laughs> 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 Uh, and then throughout the episode there's a uh, there's a series of songs as well oh yeah which yeah. I really like these songs <laughs> Did you really thinking, the first song I was yeah. like oh, I hate it. my life yeah. so much <laughs> this one's like, like, the one in the car so, is amazing. yeah and they yeah. just keep repeating it and I was like mm. this is actually like you know when you see the sort of on TV people making fun of kids cartoon yeah, yeah, songs yeah. where you just like the gun slowly <laughs> yeah. to your head um, 
but yeah, as they went on, I yeah. was like, that one where they're in the spooky house. Yeah, that was, was like, really cool. Had like little hip hop beat, and then like the spooky, <laughs> 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 spooky <laughs> sound effects. I admit, they gradually got better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That does not mean I didn't think, I didn't think any of them were good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> I actually thought the one in the car, yeah. where they, they're going along, I was convinced at one point where they've done it, they'd, they'd completed it and gone, yeah. it's too short. Yeah. What can we bang together quickly yeah, and to over, fill out some space? Over and over yeah. the same Because it was like, even yeah. the animation repeats. And yeah. it was when he kept like, are we there yet? Yeah. Mm. Like, no. no. It's yeah. repeat, and it's like, oh my god, how many times? Next first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the music was done by Mark Mothersburg. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's uh, so he he is linked with because I recognise that name too. He, he has done. Yeah. He um, did the Rugrats. Rugrats theme, theme yeah. didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But he's like a, he's a massive composer now. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he does a lot of films. There's yeah. still a lot of cartoons. Mm. Yeah. But they actually used um, the background music for this. <clears throat> is the music from later episodes of Rugrats as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It, so it's it, got the same background music as yeah. Rugrats. It feels very much in that, say, that Nickelodeon yeah. vein. Yeah. Both musically, mm. the voice talent seems to have come over. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I can imagine the, the animation studio must have made a pretty fair penny off this. Mm. Six of these yeah. banged out for McDonald's, like corporate be, yeah. videos. Yeah. They must have yeah. paid quite a few. Because oh, well, they Hands charge. I think they charge like three dollars to sell them mm. or something. Yeah, yeah. So I, they can't have been that bothered about actually making money off them. I'm like, McDonald's took a load of money. Yeah, yeah these yeah. weren't a profit making. These were yeah. advertising. Yeah. Through, exactly. Through. Yeah. Well, well, even at the end, yeah. where he's like, "See you in McDonald's." Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just cuts to him like waving out of his yeah. weird window. Yes. Yeah. 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 So right. Hypnotically. <laughs> yeah. See you in McDonald's. McDonald's. Head down spinning around. Yeah. Oh, you like God. burgers. You yeah. like burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I bet they, I bet the, um, the animation studio could get a good number on like amount of copies sold though. I bet they can pop that. That's good on their CV. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 we sold like millions of these to children yeah. all yeah. over the US. Like we created we're, McDonald's. Yeah, we this? are in one in three households, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we're in one in three car boot sales yeah. <laughs> on VHS. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if they ever release a soundtrack because I'm down. I'm down to get it. You gotta watch more. Just to see anything, what the songs if are. anything, you've got it. Yeah, you want to see all six episodes and see if they've done like an over an overall yeah, sort of like yeah. thing because um, it advertises the net. Well, on I watched this on YouTube. Yeah, and uh, it advertised the next one. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, which yeah. was the uh, Grimace Island. Oh Grimace man, Island. that looked amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it did. I watched that. And then, but here's the thing, you know, like because Grimace is purple. Yeah, they were all slightly different colours, weren't yeah, they? And yeah, I was yeah, like. Yeah. Are they supposed to be potatoes? And See, that's that's what I, yeah, I maybe, think yeah. Grimace is like a rancid hash brown. <laughs> 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 all the food in this is the wrong colour because it's gone off. Yeah. yeah. And it's sort of, it's so, so they are all different colours, aren't they? Because yeah, like, yeah. like you say, the fries. Yeah. This is like what happens when you leave McDonald's like just in a box for too long. Or yeah. whatever. You know, there's that guy that's got like a hamburger that's like mm. not d- degraded at all. <laughs> like, if he leaves it like another three years, it'll just become a lion. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, it's going out. <laughs> Springs legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and wants to go camp it. Yeah. <laughs> um, th- like you say, the, because this is McDonald's, morally, I still feel. I, it's weird. It's it, like yeah. a, it, it, it sort of. I feel a little bit dirty. Because I feel of like it. I'm fighting with the younger me. Yeah. Because yeah. I would have loved it so much. Yeah. Because that's one of the things I used to like about going to McDonald's was sitting in where they had the kids bit mm. and just they had all the pictures up and it was just like wanted to know more about all these characters. But yeah, now it's like I can yeah they, they, I can see why they're banned. Oh yeah, yeah. because yeah. But, uh, it's but terrible. The, like marketing's. One this of, is like, this the, would play the to everything. Going because the way the fact is, if you saw that, I mean, the the thing I was surprised about was that I never, I don't think I ever saw, and again they moved it in the states. Mm. I never saw the animated version of Ronald McDonald in a in a restaurant. Right. I remember they did sort of uh, when I was in well, like early twenties. They had a new sort of art style, and it was yeah. only a cartoon. Yeah. And then I just remember thinking, do they do a cartoon or something? Mm. I don't think they did. No. But I never saw this style, mm. in, which you th- would have thought they'd have yeah. pushed. Because if yeah, because if you want this as animation, you yeah. have this out, like you say, one in every th- you know, three homes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is then you have this on the windows or up on the bloody golden arch. Yeah. So yeah. when your kids are driving past, they're like, Ronald McDonald. Yeah. And yeah. they recognise it, and then you go. Yeah. But, but again, maybe that's a maybe that's a British thing because we didn't have the videos. No. So. Yeah. 
Maybe no, they yeah. did have that in America. It's but possible. I mean, to be it's fair, like, with him being a clown and everything, mm. like the sort of featureless like representation of his face makes him sort of iconic anyway. Because I mean, like, well, I mean, if you, he is if you iconic. See, he is. Yeah. yeah like, the simple there's that design. Scene in Super yeah. Size Me, where they show the kid. He shows the kids the slides, and it's yeah. just like, who's this? And they're like, yeah, that's Ronald McDonald. And they shows him Jesus, and like most yeah. of them don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's just like, it's weird, isn't it? As well, because you sort of with a time where clowns are so they are like horror figures big time yeah. Yeah. oh yeah but is, yeah. is are people scared of Ronald McDonald I don't I don't know I don't think so I don't remember He's as a, a kid being clown. afraid no. yeah but as a, but as like a, as a kid were you, you know were you scared of clowns I think I know oh, I wasn't but I don't remember anyone else being no, no. no. I, mean, I don't remember any of my mates I being like oh I, I don't like Ronald McDonald no Ronald McDonald's a different thing because you associate him I suppose with um, with Happy Meals yeah with yeah. Happy Meals and McDonald's with Happy Times if it had been if 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 you know, if Ronald McDonald had been played by Tim Curry, yeah. possibly different. Yeah. <laughs> or would well, it? So, yeah. If you saw him at McDonald's, he would have been like, yeah. He's just like, yeah. Pre, Start, yeah. Started offering your burgers and was like, we flew. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been pretty terrified. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but he works. They like say he's iconic and he appeals to children. I can't see that they would do a cartoon with Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Who's basically. <laughs> a racist. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. Foghorn Imagine. Leghorn was like. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Well, he had yeah with, with slightly racist overtones. Yeah. Um, and then you also like the king or the Burger King. Yeah. Like yeah. you couldn't have. They would never be an animated. No. Um, no. Well, they did. They had that that mask thing for a while, and yeah, that, that was scary. That was terrifying. Yeah. yeah so like, it, it's weird that that's scarier than a clown. Mm. Yeah. It was the like you said the features mm. of it doesn't move. It's, yeah. it's hiding something. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I think they hit on something. They 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 chose, they chose the right animation style at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which I is why so. I think you know. And it's there's loads of, it, it's it's mm-hmm. still got that sort of, like it was there was loads of lines that did make me laugh. Mm-hmm. Like you know, there's just little bits like, um, I think it was the fry things, yeah. where uh, there's there's like it, it's like you can't go through this door. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, and, they kick it open, and, it, and yeah. it's just like, what are you talking about? I've been opening doors all my life. Yeah, just, <laughs> just like boots. <laughs> just That's like amazing. little things like that just crap me up. There's yeah. a few lines I wrote down, and it was just, it, it is a fun show. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fun. Like it's, it's, I think it's, the moral thing as well is like you got to think how many of the things, how many of the cartoons even that you watched were actually just made to sell stuff. Oh god, like that, like pretty much all yeah, of the oh, totally. things were. I mean, I'm, like, I'm I'm you know a little older than you guys and. It made me think, think about yeah. it go back the eighties, especially like eighties. Well, the eighties, eighties was started it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. So, it, like you say, I feel slightly morally funny about this. Yeah, but that, yeah, I still go back and watch Generation One Transformers yeah. or yeah. He Man. Yeah. yeah, or you know, Turtles, I Turtles, think, or Phillips. Yeah. All of those are pretty much generated to, yeah. to sell toys. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like in the nineties. That was still really heavy because you know you still had like Street Sharks, Street yeah. Sharks, <laughs> like Mario, Sonic, yeah, yeah. or to sell games and yeah. McDonald's and yeah. stuff like that. But we did get like these Nickelodeon tunes and <laughs> Cartoon Network tunes. <laughs> but I think it it stopped. It was like they got to a point where they just realised, oh, we don't need to have we, if we if we just make a good cartoon, yeah. we can still make toys. Well, I think that's the thing though. In the mid nineties, <laughs> there isn't. There's a, there's a thing about ninety three, ninety four where the, it starts to trail off. Yeah. Because you do get all the, especially like the turtles imitators, yeah, Street Sharks, Biker Mice from Mars, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff, trails off, yeah, because they do. They realise like actually, we haven't got to just sell toys. You can just make a good cartoon, yeah. yeah. And actually, if you make a really good cartoon, then you can expand the merchandise off the yeah. back of that. Yeah. And I suppose like you get into a point where you're selling videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Home yeah. entertainment yeah. probably yeah. save yeah. it more. It does make that makes it like like this is just. Mm. I mean, even though it was to sell McDonald's, it's still they're selling videos. Yeah, and I, I think Cartoon Network and, and like I say Nickelodeon have got a lot to do with that. Yeah, because yeah. I think they had a little bit of freedom early to mid nineties. Yeah, where they could make cartoons that were completely irreverent and yeah. no one, no yeah. one, because no one was paying attention. Cartoons, no, yeah. no one cares. What's that, Johnny Bravo? Yeah, actually, like you know and. I, think, I do watch like Red and Snoopy John and Bra- yeah. Johnny Bravo yeah, and all these like so cartoon many, yeah, cartoons so many. I mean even like Our Real Monsters yeah, yeah. Um, was, I used to love these yeah. yeah and you do go back and you watch them and you will all cover them all I know you will yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you do go yeah actually yeah. <laughs> as a parent now yeah. I do wonder do you decide, would it be okay yeah, yeah. 
But then, but, yeah, but then as I think, as I think, because we watched them when we were kids, yeah. Mm. And then you just you you don't notice the stuff that's because no. obviously you do now. You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. How did we watch yeah. that? But when you watched it, it you're just like, yeah. completely went over. Your I can still watch all this stuff. Mm. I mean, yeah. In preparing for this, I went down a little bit of a youtube rabbit hole if yeah. i'm honest and that seems to happen yeah, yeah and i did watch things like all these nickelodeon cartoons just watching yeah. the odd episode here and there hmm. and you're right like hmm. some of them hold up better than others yeah yeah but the the animation is so stylistic and yeah. so um diverse and some of it slightly dark yeah. it's, it's, like, it's yeah, just so experimental isn't it yeah, like, uh, experimental is really good yeah, they start yeah. pushing the boundaries I can yeah. see why they become cult f- people yeah. follow yeah. them yeah yeah and like you say I think it's, you're right in the fact that like no one was paying attention I don't feel like it was until like something like South Park came out that anyone that parents ever really thought like oh just because it's animated it might not be appropriate because yeah. I think most parents were just happy to be like oh this is this is not real you just sit and watch this oh no I think you know, you're right and, well, and I think, it didn't yeah. really there's matter a real what time, it was there's a, there's a wave in about in the late 90s again yeah. where animation changed and you do you've got Ren and Stimpy really started to push yeah. the boundaries yeah. um, everyone was watching The Simpsons as, you know, and then they were yeah. like oh, yeah. I wonder if there are other cartoons we can watch yeah. Yeah. and all of a sudden the scrutiny fell on like Ren and Stimpy yeah. South Park um, HBO started well, I mean, releasing Sad one. Bot was never. No, yeah. but, yeah, but yeah. everyone still thought animated. Yeah, Spawn yeah. had an animated fit series. Yeah. that was not for kids. No, yeah. and stuff like that. You just go. So those late nights, I think yeah, so that's the, that's the sea change. Yeah. It was a bit like oh, actually, well, as well, like, we, we start getting we start getting channels. Yeah. yeah, that are just like like Nickelodeon cartoon uh, mm-hmm. cartoon network where it is just cartoons. So mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you've got to make loads of new cartoons because you've got to fill a channel with them yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it does it changes it changes the way people are watching them and yeah, stuff yeah. like that it's just it just sort of exploded because of it I think it's, I think that's why the, the animate that's why the animation in this in particular is actually like you said before yeah. they haven't half asked it no, no but I don't think they had to because they were so good at it by that yeah, point yeah. that they could have just banged these things out and they yeah. were coming out at quality yeah like the animation in this is good, a bit repetitive at times. Yeah, yeah. But it's solid animation. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the art, I think the art style is cool as well. I like, like it. I yeah. really like, I like that it, style. Yeah. I thought Ronald Ronald looks really cool. Look, yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. his hair. It's yeah. almost yeah. like threaded. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like it's weird, like when they do that bit where he falls into that tube to turn into a cartoon, yeah. they have to change his hair. Yeah. It looks to like he's whooshing. It. Yeah, yeah. Like they have to lift his hair yeah. up just to match the cartoon. But yeah, it's cool. But all the character designs are really solid. I mean, not, you know, all right, Grimace is just a purple blob. That's a, forget <laughs> yeah. that. But um, yeah, all of them are actually a really good, yeah. like stylistic design. Yeah. I, I really yeah. enjoy some of that. I suppose I mean someone like Grimace, you, well, he's so, can do, really. yeah, yeah, he's so simply, yeah. Yeah. he's just eyes, a mouth, and yeah. he's purple. Maybe that's the, the next horror movie you were expecting, like bring back Grimace. Like, yeah, they should break out of cartoons <laughs> and just go into like low budget Scared. horror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get Blumhouse yeah. to like, <laughs> produce like Grimace. Well, you yeah. don't know what the next, you don't know what the next one is. It was, it was a Grimace Island. They Grimace could go Island, there, yeah. and you might find out actually there's some really like you know dark, dark, <laughs> yeah. like cannibalistic <laughs> Grimaces. <laughs> like, how did Grimace yeah. become fun? I'm telling yeah. you, this yeah. is it's how Ronald became a a, an, an embittered. It's how he went from hero to villain. <laughs> yeah. In the space. At the end of this, he becomes like Scrooge McDuck. He just he just lives in a huge money pit, yeah, counting yeah. the McDonald's royalties yeah. that come rolling in. Never make the cartoon yeah. ever again. <laughs> yeah, that's, too, yeah, that's why there's no seven because he was like, I'm too good for this. Yeah. <laughs> six. Screw six you and your end. Nickelodeon. Two <laughs> jam. Two jam. Okay, so here is the deciding moment, the uh, tune jam flawless system of uh, what did you think thumbs up that's good. Very good thumbs down that's not good Nada. shaky middle is shaky middle we could have been friends <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll start with you Scott so yeah. that's, uh... okay it's gonna have uh, I, I, do you know what this is it was a, it was a high highs and low lows <laughs> yeah this. yeah yeah the, you know, there were points when I was all thumbs up, and there were yeah. times I was all thumbs down. <laughs> yeah. So overall, it, it is—it's a shaky middle. Ah, shaky. Yeah. It's a really shaky middle. Um, animation strong. Yeah, mm. I think it's simplistic. It's fine mm. for kids. Mm. Yeah, um, I did have some issues with the you know the morality yeah. of it being an advertisement. Mm. 
But that aside, the songs irritated me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wish they'd spent more time or done something more with the live action. I actually, pro- I think I like that more. Really. Yeah, yeah. Also, I love the animation. The animation's yeah. really good. I'd, I'd love to have seen them all as puppets. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. I want that. And that, yeah. that was the thing yeah. with this. So, shaky middle for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Uh, for me, I think, uh, yeah, there was definitely some dud bits, some low notes, some bad songs. And, yeah, it is a bit of a weird thing to be just essentially watching like a 35 minute ad <laughs> yeah. for fast food which is just like that's, seeing that's, McDonald's yeah, yeah. surely that should have get the shakes yeah. get the shakes yeah. at the end just of it. like hey man I saw the advert <laughs> <laughs> I saw all three hours of it it's just like yeah so but on top of that I think it looked really good like the you know the, the voice acting and stuff was really cool yeah yeah um, except for the dog yeah except for the dog and uh, it it was so fun. Like it, it it did take me away to like you know those zany sort of cartoons and like I did feel like I was I was gone. It, it, at some point actually, I felt like I think it was some bits of the music were reminding me of like a rare game. It mm. was just like mm. whatever type of instruments they decided to only use in yeah. the nineties mm. seemed to be that. But so for me, uh, it lands on a thumbs up thumbs up yeah hard <laughs> thumbs up and you know I've got to represent the clans so yeah that's true. it's my boy you are somewhat you're my boy Ronald <laughs> <laughs> well yeah this is like deciding vote I don't know it's it's tough because I'm like arguing sort of with my inner child yeah with the, the whole the fact that it is for McDonald's and is a marketing tool is scary mm-hmm. like it just makes you wonder <laughs> how much of the fact that like I like these characters so much mm-hmm. how much of that is actually like I, I sort of went in already liking them mm-hmm. yeah. because this was not this specifically but it was used on me and it yeah. worked to the point where I think I'd still if I saw yeah. that like, if I went into McDonald's now yeah. and they did a happy meal yeah. with these characters I would go and buy it yeah. if I could mm. get a little toy of Ronald McDonald just to put on the side yeah. or something. You're already in the cult of McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. And yeah. that's what scares me about it. But also I've got to give him kudos because as if you take all that out of it, it's a good cartoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah, I did right. enjoy the cartoon. The first <laughs> song, yeah, like it's, the songs, I quite like the spooky one. The yeah. middle one, I can't remember, but it Camping wasn't that one. bad. Yeah. But the first one was so, was so bad. Yeah. So, so bad. But I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because oh. I reckon I might even go and watch the rest of them. Yeah. That, that, that was, a, that was gonna be my, that, and that was gonna be my question. Yeah, would either of you go and watch the I, Adventures yeah. on Grimace? I was so intrigued well, by you know, the Grimace. 40, you know the forty <laughs> minutes <laughs> um, You know the forty Grimace. minutes long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't feel for no, it. No, it didn't. Oh, to be fair, I was like, I thought go, it was twenty. It did go quite quick. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So the next one's Grimace and McDonald's. It's Grimace, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's little things as well, like you know the professor uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. pops up at the end. He's the dad of the kid that yeah. runs yeah. it. He invented that bear whistle. Yeah. And stuff like that. So there's little bits where you're like pullbacks. Yeah. yeah. But but I didn't know that until yeah. I read it up afterwards. Yeah. And that makes me want to watch more. There's an expect- like, yeah. there's a McDonald's oh. expanded universe. Because <laughs> <Was it? laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. like, he was called Franklin, was he, the kid? Was, yeah. like, was he was his last name Stein? Because I think that like I feel like yeah, 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 it's was it actually it, it is. Franklin in, Stein. Yeah, it's because in, in the on the wicked page yeah. they call referred to him as Franklin Stein and yeah. then after that they do call him Frank Stein yeah because uh, so yeah. yeah, I was like clear. oh that's pretty funny yeah, like, yeah. when it first that's came up I mean, there's loads of little gags yeah. Uh, yeah thumbs up because it was yeah. it was fun I don't think just... I could sit through if I was to watch another one I'd be like oh interesting I couldn't yeah. I mean I not in a row no <laughs> yeah, I'd have no. to I'd have to space it out in a few weeks after a couple of meals essentially because they didn't actually do any full on McDonald's endorsement like imagine that was just an episode of Magic School Bus like, oh yeah, yeah, you'd just be like, oh yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that's oh, what that I mean. Good. It's, it's a shame it's four. Yeah, but then I but, don't know because I don't, I don't know now, but I did used to love going to McDonald's as a kid. Yeah. But it was because I mm. liked eating it. Yeah, mm. but this just made it better. Yeah, mm. it was just like, oh yeah, yeah. I always saw part. I, of I was it. thinking so when I was watching it, it like if you were, you imagine like the guy who plays Ronald, like does he actually know 
Like, how much does he know about, like, the bad effects of fast food? Like, is he doing this... At that this, point. Yeah, like, genuinely as, like, an entertainer of children uh, he or whatever. Yeah, he wouldn't know. Like, so, yeah. like, he's going out there and doing his thing, and he's like, oh, I just want to do this, and we're, now we're doing a cartoon. Like, yeah. as far as he's concerned, like, this is just... Well, as far as he's concerned, it's, fun, a, yeah, like, it's, a, it's a job that he probably enjoyed doing. He's, yeah. he's helped, you know, he's... It's all and for this, kids, and you, yeah. you, yeah. And you think, not, like, oh, yeah, it's just entertainment for kids, and I'm and, and that's not, a good time. You know, let's not forget, actually, that... Yeah, you know the adverse effects of McDonald's. But yeah. That's not to say that McDonald's hasn't also probably given like you know money to charities and yeah. done good yeah. works. Yeah. Like you know, it's not a completely evil corporation. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. as well, it's all you know. You can say like yeah, it's you know, really bad, but you don't have to go every day. No. Johnny, you don't have yeah. to go every week. Well, that's the you thing. Just go out, like yeah. every now and again, and then and again, it's not that bad. Like you say, yeah, it has a, it has an effect on children, but mm. you know, still. As a parent, yeah, yeah, <laughs> or as a person with some self control, mm. you know, don't. Once a week, whatever, or have you idea? But like, you know, if you were to like, ah, oh, my my kids can't move because the weight and, and their legs won't move because of the weight because of like, yeah. every McDonald's because they've watched these cartoons. Yeah. yeah, you paid for them and gave yeah, them. That's, yeah. that's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm still thinking shaky middle. I think yeah. the reason, one of the reasons I would say is shaky middle is lost. It's I agree because the core is so yeah. good yeah. that there is a potential for a great cartoon. I know, it's, it's, and I it's, feel the loss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. It's it's sad, isn't it? It's, it is. It's always yeah. sad watching because you're like, oh, this yeah, it will never get made yeah. now. No. Ne- never get anything like that. And and I don't even know as we should. Mm. Because I, I do want I do want the Colonel Sanders crossover. Though. Oh yeah, oh, man. I'd watch a Colonel Sanders cartoon. Yeah. Just him and his chicken friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him and Drumstick on the road. <laughs> I want to see him hunting the nuggets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. So, yeah, so uh, two two thumbs up and a shaky middle. Mm. Yeah. That's a pretty good score. That's the highest rating, probably. Because <laughs> there's, yeah. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> there's two thumbs up and a thumb down. Yeah. Yeah. You could count it as high yeah. yeah. there's three thumbs there involved. Go. Um, but yeah uh, hope you enjoyed today's crossover episode uh, do, do you want to plug well, yours first and... yeah uh, thank you guys uh, yeah so I've really enjoyed it it's been great so you know go and check out Toon Jam but also check out 20th Century Geek we're on uh, iTunes and all the other uh, podcasting platforms you can contact me at uh, 20th Century Geek at Gmail or find me on Twitter at 20th Century Geek and I'm also on loads of other platforms as well. Just look for 20th Century. Google 20th Century Geek. <laughs> we're there. That's we're a, awesome. That's confident Google search. Just Google. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not so sure on the Google search, but um, yeah. <laughs> at Toon Jam Pod on the old uh, trifecta of uh, social enemies. Yes. And uh, yeah, um, feel free to give us a rate and review on iTunes or whatever app it is you use because it really helps us and it helps people find us. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to add to that? No, I think that's it's just been just a been big good. old thank you. Thank and you very uh, much. Yeah. I suppose until next time, yeah. see you in McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Stay jammy. <laughs>